I'm Brian Nielsen, owner and horologist for Pocket Full of Time. Do you have one of these? This is a beautiful German built 400 day or commonly known as anniversary clock. It gets this name because it only needs to be wound once a year on some sort of anniversary. Today we're going to show you how to set properly set up, wind, and enjoy your anniversary clock. Let's take a closer look, shall we? Generally when your 400 day clock is shipped back to you, the pendulum is locked in place. There's three or four different kinds of locks on the pendulum, but the most common one is like this, what this clock has. And we're going to show you how to set this up. First off, when you get the clock from your clock man and you bring it home, or if he delivers it, it may need to be set up. If your clock man delivers the clock and sets it up for you, he'll do all this. First off, you want to go ahead and wind the clock while it's still in the locked position. A second, this pendulum, you have to be very careful with this pendulum. This pendulum is going to be suspended in a cup, not touching anything, suspended in the air by a very thin suspension spring. It's going to be just a little bit thicker than a human hair. Let me see if I can zoom in on this and show you exactly what this spring is. It is tiny, tiny, and that spring is most of the issues with a clock of this kind. Now, very gently, hold the pendulum Take the weight off of it, and you will have a latch that you will have to move out of place. Hold the pendulum. Go ahead and grab the pendulum, and then move this out of place. And now the pendulum is free. Do this setup when it is in the place that you are going to keep the clock. Now, at this time, we're going to show you how to level the clock. Right here, right here is a cup. And this cup is a, all it is is a guide for the pendulum to stay in. Now you see that the pendulum is way over here to this side to the left. We don't want that. We want that to be just as centered as we can in the cup. And the way we're going to do this is on a lot of these you have feet. And these feet have a screw in them. And what you do at this point is just like with a tripod or a pool table, you start adjusting these feet until you get the pendulum centered in the cup as close as you can. It's going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of trial and effort, but what you do is you set that cup where the pendulum is just about centered in that cup. That looks pretty good right there. Not exactly centered, but as close as you can possibly get. We've wound the clock and we've set up the clock. Okay, now it's in the location that it's going to be in at your house. Go ahead with the top off. Leave, leave the clock alone for about 5-10 minutes after you've brought the pendulum to a stop. Find out where it has stopped at. And what you do is now you're going to start the clock ticking. This clock, the reason why it's able to uh, operate for, for one year is that it has a very, very low beat per hour rate. And we'll explain that in a minute, what that really is when we start showing you how to regulate the clock. 
And what you want to do is this pendulum, this pendulum bob here, this one over here on the on my left. What we're going to do is we're going to very gently move the clock pendulum 180 degrees to right there. half a turn and then let go and that will start the clock ticking. Now at this point put the glass dome on and now we're going to tell you how to regulate the clock, how to set it to where it'll keep pretty accurate time. Here's how you regulate the clock. It's going to take you a day every time you make a regulation on this clock. The reason for this is you have to let the pendulum settle down, which takes hours, and you have to let it read out the time in a 24-hour period. Now, we see that the clock is gaining about four minutes an hour. I mean, four minutes a day. Here's the best way to adjust for that. Now, we're going to go ahead and move the clock around uh, to where you can easily see the back. This you would do when it's in the uh, uh, proper position in your house and do it from the back, but I want you to be able to see the pendulum and explain to you what we're doing. In t four minutes fast in 24 hours. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take a felt tip pen. Now you're not going to damage the clock because I'll show you how to get rid of this. Take a felt tip pin. Stop the pendulum when it completes a swing. Let me show you what I'm talking about there. When the pendulum completes a swing and it comes to a stop, grab it right there. You then mark a place on your pendulum with your felt tip pin. That's going to be, it's going to take you a couple of three days to regulate this out. So you want this mark. Now it's going four minutes fast. Here's how you adjust this wheel. And pay very close attention. You have to take the backlash out of the threads. So you're wanting to go uh, uh, slower because you're gaining four minutes a day. To speed up the clock, you're going to turn it counterclockwise. To slow the clock, you're going to turn it clockwise. Now we want to go slower. Now, quarter turn equals four minutes in time adjustment. So what you want to do is you want to go clockwise, but don't stop at the quarter because you haven't taken out the backlash into threads. Go ahead and make a half turn all the way around and then come back one quarter and you're using this mark, this felt tip mark, as your point of reference. Remember it was right here. So we're going to slow this clock down four minutes every 24 hours. So we're going to go half turn and then bring it back a quarter turn. And now the now the regulation should be pretty close. We then let go of the pendulum. It starts ticking again and we put the dome on. We then wait 20, we then wait 24 hours. Okay, now the clock, let's say it's been another day and you find out that the clock is running about a minute fast. We went a little bit too far. Here's what you do. You come back, you stop the pendulum, and we're going to go counterclockwise. Now, your mark is here. Go counterclockwise, a little more than a quarter turn, and come back, but just have it just a few degrees past where it was a while ago when you started out. It was right here, but now we're going to go a little more than a quarter turn and come back just a few degrees off. Let go of your pendulum, let it start ticking again and wait 24 hours.
How are you going to get that unsightly felt tip mark off of your pendulum? Well, here's how. You take a Q-tip and dip it in alcohol or lighter fluid and just wipe away. your mark. Voila! And it's gone. Now your pendulum and your clock is beautiful and ready to be enjoyed for years and years to come. I hope this has been helpful for you and enjoy your 400 day anniversary clock.